Hey Canucks fans, the Canucks have just defeated the Minnesota Wild 4-1 to one in Minnesota. Here's what I liked, here's what I didn't like, and here's one other thing. What I liked, I love Jacob Markstrom's game. Showing that he's worthy of being an all-star, whether it's a replacement or named originally, it doesn't matter. Today, making 23 saves on 24 shots. But don't let that lower shot total um, you know, confuse you or, or mislead you. A lot of those shots were really, really high quality chances, especially in the third period as the Canucks were trying to hold on to that two goal lead. So again, Jacob Markstrom, excellent game for him. Bo Horvat, two goals, loved his game today. Good leadership, took one penalty, no big deal, but uh, one empty netter, but showing some great leadership once again and strong play on the ice. And he's been really, really picking up over the past four to six weeks. JT Miller, another strong game for him to assist. And um, especially showing all that uh, good board work on that Troy Stetcher goal. A lot of leadership from him as well. He's been a wonderful addition to our team. Would have loved to see Brock Besser get a point in his, you know, in his return to his hometown or his home state, I should say. But uh, unfortunately, wasn't to be today. But was, another thing I liked was the fact that his, his parents were at the game, especially his, his father, Duke. And I talked about that earlier in the first intermission reflection. So all good things to like. The only thing I didn't like, you know, in a 4-1 victory, I don't want to nitpick, but I, I thought the Canucks power play could have been better, especially uh, on a very abbreviated 5-on-3 and then a, a longer 5-on-3 in the second period. Didn't look that dangerous, looked a little disorganized, looked not urgent enough, but um, you know, they did end up scoring one of the power play goals, the first goal of the game from Pedersen, got the Canucks going. So not a big complaint, but I think that's something that can, we've seen how good it can be. So we want it to be better and even more dangerous. And one other thing, isn't it funny how uh, recency bias or uh, what a difference, you know, the order of games makes. The Canucks got blitzed in Florida, but now they put two really strong performances, Buffalo and Minnesota. And now we're confident, right? We're, we're excited. They're, they've moved it up to third place and could even get into second place in the division if Arizona loses later today. Imagine if we went the other way around. Now imagine if we beat Buffalo and Minnesota first and then we got blitzed in Florida. Then everyone would be, oh, the sky is falling. Something's got to happen. Fire the coach. So just funny how a difference of two games makes. It looks like the Canucks have indeed pressed the reset button, as Troy Stetcher said. And I look forward to what they can do in Winnipeg, a chance to go over 500 on this road trip. Road trip. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. And tell me one other thing. Great victory by the Canucks. God bless. Go Canucks go.